guys. Welcome to Dee's channel. You just totally did it for me. You just, you did. Thank you for that. You just did the intro. Thank you. Awesome. Sweet. Welcome back to the channel, guys. That was my daughter's friend, Mackenzie. And she did our wonderful introduction for us uh, today. Uh, <clears throat> as you can see in front of us, we have the MiG-17 all painted up. Uh, I'm going to flip it over real quick because it looks better from the other side, I think. I have it open like this because I have to actually take this wing off over here. Uh, the gear door servo has stripped out. Um, fantastic, right? Um, oh, I knew that was going to happen, and I knew that was going to happen. Okay, so um, as you guys can see, we have a MiG-17 in front of us, all painted up, waiting for the cal uh, decals from Cali Graphics, you guys. Um, so as I was monkeying around with this sequencer right here, today i couldn't figure out how to plug it in i ended up stripping out the servo in the left wing um the problem with stripping out one of these servos guys is it's glued in so i'm gonna have to go in there and i'm gonna have to cut the thing out of this brand new fuselage i'm gonna have to cut it out and i'm gonna have to feed the other one through it's 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 it's, it's just gonna be a nightmare you guys so uh, I'm not going to do that today, um, but we did get it. We did get it fixed. We we have the gears working right. We have the gear doors working right. Um, we just don't have a good servo in there right now. So we're gonna have to take that out and replace it, you guys. That's just that's all there is to it. Um, I was messing around with it today with the balance, and I'm gonna have to have that 8s pack or the two 4s packs. This big giant monstrosity of a battery has to be pretty much all the way forward, you guys. It has to be like almost all the way forward to balance this thing outright. Uh, it's going to be absolutely crazy. Um, I wanted to plug it in and uh, show off the afterburner. So I'm going to see if we were. I have not tried it yet, you guys. I have not tried the afterburner yet. So this is going to be a first time thing to see if this afterburner works. Um so, uh, yeah, let me grab the radio, which probably needs to be plugged up. It's probably dead. I've been messing around with this thing all day. Um, well, oh, I see the radio now. Yeah, it's definitely going to need to be plugged up. Yeah, I'm going to – actually, as a matter of fact, I'm going to plug this thing up now so that way we can test it out in a second. Um, I'll be running this on my Tactic 8-channel Tactic radio. That's what it will be flying it on. Um, so I'm just going to go plug it in for a few moments here and let it get a charge on it because, I've been, like I said, I've been tinkering with the plane pretty much all day. All right, we'll let that set up real quick, um, and then after it charges up a little bit, we'll go and um, we'll plug this thing in. We'll plug in the afterburner, um, and we'll see if our fiery booty is working. How's everybody doing tonight? Farmer Man, I appreciate the pictures this morning. Big shout out to Farmer Man. Um, I had an issue with how to plug in the sequencer for this plane, and uh, Farmer Man sent me a nice picture, a series of pictures um of the sequencer and how it was plugged in and i got the sequencer plugged in correctly now uh so that was pretty cool that he did that um so a huge shout out to farmer man appreciate that buddy i really appreciate that um like i said i want that radio to charge up a little bit and then we're gonna we're gonna test out this um we're gonna test out the system on this uh oh let me see i gotta i gotta pull this out all right, so we got that. It's a rat's nest right now until I clean it up, you guys. I will clean it up eventually, though. Uh, there it is. Okay, I got it now. It goes like that. There we go. Okay. All right. I got. I got both. I got the two things out that I need. That's it. Okay. 
Um, and then he said I had to plug it into Did he say that I had to plug it into the negative side? Oh, Guniak, you're in there. Do a negative side of the series connection. So this battery here. So this one. Okay. All right. Good thing you're in here, dude. I was about ready to plug it into the positive side. Thank God, thank God you're in here. Oh, my God. What happens if you plug it into the positive side? Will it blow up or something? Or will it pop or blow? It can, yes. Okay, so yeah. Negative side is this side. So that's this battery here. That's the negative side. Okay. Uh, but like I said, you guys, uh, this thing is going to be needing the battery completely forward uh, in order to CG correctly. I mean, it's just... All right, I can't wait any longer. I want to try this. All right, so first off, we're going to... We got to cover that up so that we don't mess it up. Second off, we gotta turn the plane around. We gotta turn the plane around. Oh, I know you're dead, dude. I know it. I know, I know, I know. All right, I'm just gonna plug it in. Yeah, the bolts are smashed in this thing, man. The, the bolts are just smashed in that thing. Uh, let me just give it a second, you guys. I'm just going to give it one more second because no need to rush it. Uh, the battery uh, in the radio is dead. Like I said, I've been monkeying around with it all day, and uh, she's pretty dead. Um I really can't get over how well the paint job came out, you guys. It came out really, really nice. Uh, like I said, there's like no runs on the plane at all. It looks really, really sweet. Stay away from trees and keep in, in sight. Yeah, definitely stay away from the trees with your planes, guys. Um, we got a MiG-15, my little banana hobby MiG-15 that I had. We got that stuck in a tree. My brother-in-law climbed up this like 60 foot pine tree, breaking branches everywhere. Like I was like, bro, like be careful. You know, I, I wanted to get, I really wanted to get the plane out of the tree just in case that, that lipo battery, it's like a cheap banana hobby lipo battery. I didn't want that thing like in like flaring up and catching on fire and uh, setting the woods on fire. So I, he climbed up the tree and got the thing out. But uh, yeah, I still have a great video of him doing that. So I've done, I've done what everybody else has done. Like uh, Jeff's custom made a video of his the other day, um, and he um, plugged it right into the board. So that's what I did. I plugged it right into the box. Uh, so hopefully that works for me as well. Uh, I don't see why it shouldn't. It should work. Um, God, I'm excited about this, you guys. It was kind of poopy outside today. I don't know if you can see behind me, but it's really hazy and cloudy and. Uh, I decided to put off the maiden on the tiger cat until tomorrow. Uh, he uh, drove a Euro fighter through a tree, came out like confetti on the other side. Yeah, I bet it did. I bet it did. Sixteen people in here, man. I wasn't. Uh, I wasn't expecting to get a big, uh, a big show uh, or a big, a big showing of people. Just because this was uh, kind of like I'll do these streams like on the fly, like all week long. You guys know that um, I never really say when I'm going to do them. It's just basically, hmm, do I feel like streaming right now? Yeah, I'll do a stream right now. That's that's kind of the way I do it. I don't really 
notify or set them up or anything like that, except for Toe the Line on Fridays. Um, but um, I still haven't heard anything back from Callie yet. She said she would send me uh, an invoice uh, and a shipping a shipping uh, note when the uh, decals got shipped out. She still hasn't sent me anything yet, and that's fine. That's cool. Um, she'll get to it. She'll get to it. Like the last time I did this, she said it was going to take like a month, and I got them in like six or seven days, maybe eight days or something like that. All right. Let's see. All right. So now, Guniac, do I plug in the center burner to the battery before I start the system up? Uh, here, I'll show you the paint, guys. So for the green camouflage color, Rust-Oleum camouflage. And then the black is also Rust-Oleum. This is flat protective enamel, so pretty much like a uh, like a black primer, and that's why that's the way I wanted it to come out. I didn't want any kind of shiny shit on it at all. Oh, is Guniac still in here? I'm just gonna hook the I'm just gonna hook the light up and everything first. So we want it on the negative side of the ballast. We'll plug that in. We're going to turn it off. Then we'll turn on. All right, now we got power. Okay, we got power. We got power. Let's see. Let's see if we got a fiery butt. Oh yeah. Look at that, guys. what I'm talking about. All right, let's shut that off. Let's unplug this. All right, we actually got to shut it off first. Let's shut that off and then unplug it. Oh my God, you guys. Oh my, yes, 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 yes. Ladies and gentlemen, the Guniac Center Burner live and on Dave's RC, you guys. That was ridiculous. That was cool. Love it, you guys. Love it. This thing is going to look so badass when it's flying through the air. All balanced out the right way this time. Uh, on 8S, this thing's sick. That fan sounds amazing, you guys. It's perfectly balanced out. Kevin Barrow, like a day. The red will really pop. Yes, Kevin. Yes, the red will definitely make this thing look really nice once it's done. Uh, be safe, Ethan. What's up with Ethan? What's Ethan doing? Getting tornado warnings. Oh, my goodness, guy. Holy cow, man. Be careful. Yeah, absolutely be careful. Tornadoes are no joke, man. <laughs> that is a nice ass, ain't it? <laughs> oh, my God. It, it, it's like it's really, really nice, you guys. Uh, it comes on right around like half throttle to like maybe a quarter up above. 
are a uh, like it like one or one or two ticks above half throttle. It seems like it blinks a little bit and then it goes full bore like when you go full afterburner. Dead sexy, right? Dead sexy. I can't wait. Oh my god, I'm excited about this plane this time around, you guys. I, you know, the great thing about crashing the last MIG was the fact that it let me know exactly what was wrong and where things needed to be. It was extremely tail heavy. I don't know why I ended up pushing the battery back. I felt as though that the plane was going to be nose heavy when in all actuality, it was going to be super tail heavy if I didn't get that battery pushed as far forward as I possibly could. So we learned from our mistake. And now this next flight that I do on this thing, will have a nice balanced out MIG nose heavy at the, at, at the, at the worst, it'll be nose heavy. So, um, <laughs> be careful. The boss will not let it hit in her bed. <laughs> Yeah, I know. I'm going to sleep with it tonight. <sighs> um, also, the Tiger Cat is 100% fixed, you guys. It's 100% ready to go. Just looking for a, a good day to go out and uh, and tear up the sky with it. Um, I'm excited for that one, too. I've actually got the batteries charged already. I thought we would be going today, but it was just a little bit too like like murky out. And it was kind of like... Uh, I don't know. It felt a little damp in the air. I didn't want to bring it out with the dampness in the air. So um, I just decided that I wouldn't do it. We'd do it again. Uh, we'd do, we, we would retry tomorrow and see if we had better weather. Uh, as far as the wind goes, though, today, it was flat calm. I mean, it would have been perfect. Absolutely perfect. Um, you guys want to see the tiger cat? It's actually sitting over here on the couch, you guys. Here, let me uh, let me move the camera over. All right, Tiger Cat. I got the gear down. It's kind of hard for me to maneuver this thing around, but I'll just set it down like this here. Um, oh, there goes my hat. Um, but yeah, the Tiger Cat's in good shape, you guys. It's 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 all fixed. Got the brand new prop on. Uh, the brand new front gear retract is put in. Everything's working great. All of the servos, you guys, are plugged in. Um, and then they're also taped in. So they're not going anywhere. I mean, I pulled on those servo wires to make sure they weren't coming out of that receiver. They're not going anywhere. All the other servo leads on the extensions are all plugged in and taped off as well. You like that ass, Victor? Want me to bounce it for you? No, I'm not the weird one. These guys in the chat are weird, okay? I, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just. They like the butt of that plane. They do like the ass of the plane. Did you see it when I started it up? I there's heard a, it. There's a big light back here. I heard it. So when you hit the throttle, the light comes on and makes it look like there's an afterburner. Isn't that cool? That's what I. That's why I'm showing the booty of the plane. Bounce, 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 bounce. bounce. <laughs> yeah, not my ass. No way. I don't even have an ass, bro. Me when when God was passing out asses, he's just like skipped no, right over me, bro. The butt police came and took their asses. Yeah, the butt police came and took both of our asses, mine and my daughter's. Eric Quinn, what's going on, man? Welcome to the stream. GB Linden says he has buns of steel. Excellent. 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 You got to work on that shit, man. You got to work on it. If, if you want them buns of steel, you got to work on it. Got to do them side bends and them, and them, uh, them leg kicks. <laughs> He's like, I do, man. No, I'm, I'm, I'm agreeing with you. I'm saying awesome, dude. You got, you got buns of steel. Great, man. That's awesome. It takes hard work and dedication to get that. <laughs> To my right, what plane is that? Oh, the Beast biplane? 
Is that the one that you're talking about? That's the Beast biplane. It is the only Horizon plane that I own. Oh, it's a badass little plane, man. I just I'm having some issues with the servos glitching and, t and twitching out, and I'm afraid to fly it with it like that. One guy told me it, it's done that forever. Just fly it; it's fine. But at the same time, um, don't ever trust anybody when it's not their plane, dude. <laughs> you don't trust anyone. No, oh, yeah, those servos are twitching. It's fine. Yeah, until it starts doing 180s and cartwheels in the air and shit. And you're like, yeah, don't ever listen to anybody else about your plane. You fly your plane and do what you're going to do with your plane. If it doesn't look comfortable or you don't feel comfortable when you're about ready to take off with it, don't. Don't be like, oh, this guy's behind me. Oh, it'll be fine. Yeah, okay, buddy. You just want to see something get lawn darted. Okay. So don't, don't yeah, dude, don't, um, don't ever let someone make the decision to fly a plane for you. Oh, Guniak, you did miss it. Here, I'll kick it up again, though. I'll kick it one more time. One more time, Hannah. It's for the fans. It's for the fans. We got to do it for the community. We got to do it for the kids, Hannah. Yes, I'm working on I got to turn the BEC on. There it goes. Turn the fire booty on. <clears throat> All right, here we go. One last time, Hannah, I promise. Nice. There she is. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, right. I know, right? Uh, she was making a funky sound there in the end. I think maybe that nut came loose on the uh, on the prop, so I'm gonna have to go in there and tighten that. Oh, 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 oh. But yeah, man, uh, came out really nice, you guys. All right, guys, I'm going to go to work, go make some money. Um, I just wanted to do a quick video, letting you guys check out the old fire butt on this thing. And once again, say thank you to Guniac. Uh, Farmer Man, thank you for sending me the picture earlier. To all you guys that are out there supporting me, keep on supporting me. Um, you, guys are the, you guys are the ones that help this channel grow. You guys are, it's all about you guys. That's why against my wife's wishes, I went and plugged it up again. Uh, for you guys. Uh, so um, one of these days we'll have, you know, a nice big house where I'll have my own studio and stuff like that. But for right now, uh, this is what we got, guys. The RC room's full of planes to the point where I can't even get in there except to do toe the line. We're definitely not working on planes in there because there's just no damn room. Um, so yeah, guys. Uh, yeah, that's it for me. I'm Dave. This is Dave's RC. Quick little update video on the MiG-17. Uh, the next video that we do will be total line on Friday. I won't do any more live streams until then. Uh, we will have the Tiger Cat Maiden tomorrow. We'll put that up. Um, and then when the decals come for this plane, like the day they come, I will put them on and we will do another video of the MiG. By that time, I'll have everything buttoned up. I'll have everything working uh, properly. Um, if this fan... Um, keeps giving me issues, you guys. I'm thinking I'm just going to uh, order a uh, JP fan, um, an 8S JP fan, but I want it to be, I want it to be an in runner. I don't want it to be an out runner because I want that. I want to be able to use that, um, that fiery booty. So, um, 
yeah, guys, that's it. I'm Dave. This is Dave's RC. We'll see you tomorrow with Maiden Flight of the Tiger Cat, the second attempt, uh, but the Maiden Flight of the Tiger Cat. And then we'll get back at you later in the week on this MiG-17 once we get her buttoned up and get her fixed. Um, get her all put together and get everything meetened up. Um, but that's it, guys. I'm out of here. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.